breathing exercises, we're going to go straight into some stretching first. seconds you can hold it for more if you can really feel it it's just all about feeling that stretch and really trying to elongate your muscles um, I have to do a lot of those exercises because of the hip surgery I recently had um, a lot of that was to do with my rehabilitation and obviously trying to keep them as mobile and as flexible as possible you can then start adding resistance to it again this was in my uh, re rehabilitation I recently been doing yoga and a lot of that as well is in yoga um, so with this you get the strap at the, the ball or the base of your foot. We're going to lie back and we're going to try and stretch out. Just going to really stretch your hamstring off. So you inhale, exhale, and when you exhale, you try to bring the um, band even straighter up. So. And then when you exhale, inhale. And to get a bigger stretch, we're going to come to the side. Oh. The next leg, same performance. This is my weaker leg uh, for some reason, so my stretching takes a lot longer on this one. So you inhale, and then exhale, take the tension off. Try to keep that leg straight, knee straight. Flexors, everything stretched off. Time to get in with a workout. So, we're going to do two warm ups. First warm up is going to be steps. We're going to do 20 reps in total, two times. sour apple um, something I've always like advocated when I'm training is BCAA or EAAs now um, just to help with fatigue and to prevent the muscle breakdown so I can't get my words uh, next warm-up exercise is gonna be squat jumps Should be fun. we're gonna go for a try and aim for 15 reps if we can but these are explosive movements and when you get to the starting position, back to starting position, I want you to go right down into squat position. Don't want you cheating, setting off from here. You've got to really engage your quads and, and every part of your legs, your glutes, everything. So start off. seconds rest go for the second warm-up I did 16 reps then so we'll do 16 reps again
So that's the warm ups done. We're going into the first working exercise, which that bag is massively leaking. It'll get lighter as we go. But um, we're going to do weighted lunges. These, I think, are around 15 to 20 kg first everywhere. So we're adding like 40 kg here. Doing a back change, back swap. Here we go. Brutal. Whew, it's heavy, but because the weight's distributing, it's making you use your core a lot more as well. It's not what you're used to, like a normal barbell. That was good though. Steve, Steve Cook, new collection. Oh, so the next exercise we're going to do are weighted squats. Um, obviously, I'm holding my garden bench here. Normally, being a squat, right? But secondly, I wanted to use those sandbags again, but I've just split them on the lunges, so we're improvising. I'm not giving in, I'm not going in there to get the dumbbells. I'm going to actually do everything out here. So, we're going to do three sets of 20 because this isn't mass weight. I'd say I don't know, what would you say, 40 kg, 50 pounds? Not felt it yet. So you're going to have to make it heavy, but it's a bit of an awkward thing to do, so we'll give it a go. Mm. 
sand. Uh, so the next exercise we're going to do some Bulgarian split squats. Uh, I'm going to do this own body weight, but we're going to really slow the tempo of the reps down, which is basically time under tension. We're going to go four seconds down, four seconds up as well. The next exercise we're going back to squats uh, we're going to do a narrow stance this time focus on the outer head so like the teardrop part of the quad and i'm using the gas from my barbecue so like i say we're just finding anything we can to use in the garden this is only half full thankfully if it was full i don't think i'd have got it above my head but let's do this we're going to go for 15 to 20 reps and uh three sets in total 60 seconds rest in between T-shirt is that? So this is season two of Steve Cook and Jim Sharks second clothing line. Um, awesome for these days when you're sweating like mad. It's a breathable membrane. I think it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> try and hit calves obviously we've hit uh, quads glutes and hamstrings we're now going to do calves so I've got some slabs what is left over from this limestoney part of the uh, garden so I've stacked them on top of each other uh, just to give myself a little ledge and we're going to do calf raises so toes facing up to start with we're going to go for 10 reps then we're going to go flat footed 10 reps and then we're going to do toes facing down for 10 reps with so 30 reps in total do this three times and uh, this is what I implement into my workout when I'm in the gym anyway. Just normally use bump plates or something like that, but um, we can do it outside as well. Two metres apart. <laughs> right.
exercise, again if it's for calves and it's weighted standing calf raises. So that's my home leg workout done. Um, as you can see, we just improvised with anything we could find in and around the house. Um, I know it's not ideal, but just everyone stay calm. Obviously, do the best you can. It's not a great situation for all of us. We've just got to, like I say, make the best of it. We've got to stay safe. Um, obviously, look out for the vulnerable, the elderly, uh, and listen to the government. The government's asking us to stay home, uh, and they're not doing that for fun. Uh, and I know it's boring to do so, but in the bigger picture it's the least we can do to try and get over this virus so um, again we'll put the links into like government websites things like that if you are concerned and you don't know where to look for the right facts um, and also uh, we'll put the sets and reps of this home workout in the description for you to follow um, and we'll try and get some more home workouts to you very soon